evening, everyone. Thank you for your time. Um, I'd like to open up our meeting of the licensing hearings and public safety committee. Starting with roll call, Alder, Alderperson Barb Feldy. Present. Alderperson Nate Becker. Here. Alderperson Leslie Laster. Here. Alderperson Amanda Salazar. I have not heard anything from her. Yes. Oh, she's here. on. She's here. She's here. You're just muted. Sorry, my mic. My mic was muted. Here. <laughs> I said here, you, but I was you. muted. <laughs> and I am Betty Ackley, and I am also here. All right. So if everybody that's in attendance could please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and to, to the republic, republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation, under God, God indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice for all. Okay, and moving on to approval of minutes from the January 26, 2022 meeting. Do we have any discussion? Uh, I will make a motion to approve. All right, we have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. second. I have a motion and a second. We have no discussion, correct? Is that up, sorry. All right, if we have a motion and a second, all those who are in favor, please signify by stating aye. 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 Opposed? All right, and chair votes aye, the ayes have it. That item is approved. Items up for discussion. Item number six is the discussion and possible action regarding the request of uh, alcoholic beverage alcoholic. license number 3515, the dog house, for an extension under the city's continuation of business ordinance. City attorney? Yeah, so um, is Mr. Lepowski, is he in the room? Yes. 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 Okay. okay. Yeah, so they just recently uh, went past the, the time on the continuation of business ordinance, and so they need to get an extension. Uh, my understanding is that uh, as of today, uh, they have um, uh, what they need done to get an occupancy permit and those kinds of things, and will be opening up shortly. Um, as you know, you generally will give a one-time extension of the license for good cause shown if they're going to be open. Uh, uh, usually you give 30 to 90 days, but you can give more or less. Uh, it's just you get one time to do it. So I would suggest you just ask Mr. Wachowski how long it's going to be before he uh, is going to be able to open. And if that's acceptable to you, give him, a, give him an extension to then or, you know, give him, give him a week of, of cushion or something. But that would be my suggestion if that's what you're willing to do. You got everything all done. I don't know. Is that what you're asking? We're just trying to find out, will you be able to, you know, get yourselves ready to go within a certain time period and what that time period is so that we can grant you the extension that yeah. you need. Okay, to physically be open? Yep. Yeah. I would think uh, in three weeks. Okay, so if we gave you like a month, is that um, enough? Yeah, that's fine. I, I, I want to get it open as soon as possible. Sure. I mean, it can be before that too, correct? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You just want to make sure you're not going to have any hiccups yeah, or problems where you can't yeah. do it because we can only do it once. So that's why I, I want to get it three weeks give you an extra week. And hopefully we got enough help to do it. Right. So far we got three of them. So and Chuck, Chuck, can I chime in a little bit? So sure. he did he did do all of the things on the checklist and he did get issued the license today, just so that you're aware everybody's aware. Yeah. He had completed the checklist of what he needed to do to get his liquor license issued. Yeah, he, he just needs the extension because otherwise that issued license is invalid because it's outside of the his six months. The six months has run as of I think what January twenty eighth. So I I would suggest you give him you know since he said three weeks I don't know maybe you give him until uh, March um, twenty one which is a Sunday that way he's got a, a couple more you know he's got. The full month plus the following weekend to get open or something like that. March 21, 22, something like that. Okay. How does that sound? Yeah, that's, we'll be open. Okay. Uh, I'll make a motion. Might not have food right away, but we'll be open. <laughs> but you'll be open. Does anybody else have any questions about this? I, I'm fine with granting the extension. I was just going to say two months for a cushion because I'm hearing, you know, it's hard to hire people. Just, Get them some extra time just in case. It's not going to hurt anything. No. 
So I'd make a motion to grant the extension with a two with two months. I'll second. I give a specific day. So you know, if you want to make it April 16 or so, April 16 is after the might be after the council year is over. But maybe you want to just give it to the last day of the council year. What day is that? <laughs> the third? Knows. Technically, April 5th. <laughs> No, well, that would be two months. Yeah. Um, so, what if we gave him till April first? Like that's a Friday. Perfect. Okay. And about April third, so he has until a Sunday just in case. Okay, April third. That's it. That's it. April eighteenth. I'll change it. I'll make a motion to grant the extension through April third. I will second. Okay, so we're not going to do the 18th. We're not doing the end of the council. 18th yet. is the common council, the end date. The council ends on the 18th. So do we want to give him till the 18th? He, he said he had three weeks. So I think we're, I think we're good. I don't know. Well, yeah, it feels fair. I feel safer. He would, he's saying he would feel safer if you can't hear well. Okay, so I'll make a motion we to the 18th? through April 18th. Okay, so Alder Lester made the motion. Do we have a second for the 18th of April of 2022 for this extension? I'll second it. Okay, so we have a motion and a second. So all those in favor, please signify by stating aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Opposed? Chair votes aye. That motion is approved. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Great. Thank you all. <laughs> when I get her opening, all can have, come in and have a hot dog on me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. We're not allowed to do that. <laughs> okay. Item number seven is RO number 372122, submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30th, 2022. Change of, uh, change of premise application number 3444. Yep. This was in front of you. Um, from a while back and uh, is just here for filing. Since this webinar, we had held it because they were not ready to actually get that change of premise. Since then, the business has changed hands and the new folks no longer want the change of premise, so we're just here to file it. Motion file. Second. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? Okay, all those in favor of filing this motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Chair votes aye. That item is approved. Item number eight is R number 124-2122, submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30th, 2022. City Attorney. All right, so I'm going to ask you to make uh, two motions on this uh, because there's kind of two sets of licenses here. Uh, those of you who are remote, and I sent you this early, there's been a slight change in, in what's happening here, but it's, it's not a big change. Um, so that, that first set of them is for a number of gas stations and mini marts. And um, the RO first said that it was for a retail, Class A retail liquor license. Um, then we thought, actually, I thought it, when, when I heard that uh, it wasn't the full liquor, which would have been a problem because we would have run out, um, that it was beer only, but it's actually for this new combo license that's available where it's a class A liquor license for cider only, and then beer only. So uh, they will be able to serve beer and they'll be able to serve cider, but they won't be able to serve hard liquor. So I would, because it was, not quite right on the RO. My suggestion would be that you move to approve those licenses uh, and approve granting them a class A retail liquor cider only license. Okay. All right. Uh, any discussion on this from anybody? Just one quick question, Chuck. Um, mm -hmm. Where does wine go into that? Does it, is it wine included in that or is that or not? Is that that's separate or? I thought that was beer and wine is the same license. Uh, beer and wine goes, there's a there's a wine license for class Bs, which are the bars. Um, Meredith, I don't remember, is wine included in the cider license? I can't remember. No. Oh, it's not, okay. No. Yeah. 
Well, and these are the minute markers. Is, is this, um, sorry, I have a question. Is a seltzer considered a beer? So usually, yes. Um, so so the, way, the way to describe it is that what we call a beer is actually a fermented malt beverage. Yep. And most um, seltzers, even wine coolers, are actually made with a base that is a fermented malt beverage. Um, okay. And there is the other thing that's that, that potentially is able to be sold under a fermented malt beverage license, or at least was, because there was some question about it, is sake, because sake is actually fermented rice. Yeah. 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 So technically, even though it's a hard liquor, probably can be sold there. But your typical, you know, whiskey and that kind of stuff would not yeah. be. That's that's okay. distilled and yeah. Thank you for clarifying that. Do you have any further discussion? Okay. I, I do. I, okay. oh. um, it says says that the RO indicates the request is for Class A retail liquor license. Um, how many are we talking? There's two sets of licenses, you said. Um, is this for two separate um, but owned by the same person? No, so... So what, what you've got going on here, what I mean by two sets is that on the RO, you have a list of a number of licenses that look like they were being applied for a class A retail, but they're actually a retail liquor, but it's actually a class A retail cider only liquor license. And there are, oh, okay. I don't know, six, six of them on there. When you're done with this, then we're <laughs> going to deal with the other set, which is a set of one, which is the um, class B liquor license. We'll deal with that in a moment. But what you're voting on is basically these mini marts, several of which are the mini marts that close around town um, and are now a few of them are being reopened um, that, that are applying for this cider license so they can sell beer and cider. Okay. Let me tell you. All right. Then I will make the motion to grant those um, liquor licenses, those class A retail liquor licenses. Can you hang on one second, Barb, because Meredith had to say something too. Before oh, okay. We Please, I'm sorry. Before Meredith. <laughs> right. It's okay. I, I just wanted to make sure we had gotten some clarification from the DOR as well that we have to list both of them on there, the class A beer and the class A cider only because it's not the full liquor. So when you're yeah. making the, it's both of them together. So it's just, just include that in your motion that it's both of them. Okay, I will include that in the motion then. <laughs> be class A beer and liquor and cider. Sorry. The way Meredith said it. How is that? Kathy <laughs> <laughs> will fix it. Kathy fixes everything. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have a second? second? Okay, we got a motion and a second. All those in favor of Meredith, the way that Meredith said this, because I can't do it either. All those in favor, please signify by stating aye. 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 Opposed? Chair votes aye. Ayes have it. That motion is approved. Next item on our agenda is the next. Well, I'm no, missing no. one. Sorry. Yeah, no, you're, you're still on the RO. Um, Sorry, so then that second set is that single class B liquor license. So last time you granted the ability to apply for that license to Young Trust Entertainment LLC. That's that West Coast Bistro. Um, since the application, there, there's been an issue. Um, they, they, it includes at least one law violation um, where they, they violated uh, occupancy permits because they didn't have an occupancy permit and they had an event there um, because they don't have a liquor license they could potentially have had people bring their own liquor in and that kind of thing uh, the police when they looked into it didn't have all of that information yet necessarily and so um, it's not clear that there was a liquor violation uh, if they had sold liquor there um, that would be a violation as well and yeah bill can maybe speak a little bit to that more if, if he'd like but the, the the question that we really have for you today, the license is there for you to approve. If you want to just approve it and not be concerned about the violation, uh, that's one thing. And this is, it's, it's, if 
if they weren't selling liquor, if it was just you know, a private party, which we think it was a private party, and there was no charge being made for the alcohol, then the only violation really is the um, uh, violation of the occupancy, which I don't want to call that a minor violation, but it's not as closely related to the license activity. And maybe you care about it, maybe you don't. And, and if this were, if we had lots of liquor licenses available, I'd probably tell you, nah, you know, just go ahead and grant it. But I also know this is the only one available and you chose them after sort of really taking a long time to think about who should get it. Um, and if this changes things for you, what I would suggest is if it changes things for you, don't just deny it today. I would say, call them in to talk to you about it uh, at, at the next meeting. So they won't get the license today if that's what you do. Um, they would have to come in in two weeks and talk to you about it and then you could do what you want. You could read them the riot act, you could, and then grant it, you could not grant, whatever, whatever it is that you wanna do. And maybe they'll have a good explanation. Um, uh, our, our committee just found out about this on Monday, our staff group. So we haven't even had the chance to um, talk to them ourselves, so. So yeah, I can give you more info. And Chuck, I was actually able to watch the body camera. So I have okay. probably a little more info for you as well. So on February 11th, about 8.30 PM, Officer Alicia Rotier was walking along Michigan Avenue, just checking on bars. And she saw that the lights were on for this one and there were people inside. Um, and she's like, okay. So she went to check on it. The door was locked. She knocked at the door numerous times, got no answer went around the building to see if she could find some way in. People were upstairs. It seemed, <coughs> I believe maybe they like turned the lights out or something upstairs, but clearly the people would, wouldn't let her come into the bar. Uh, so she the, continues her walk around Michigan Avenue and then she sees uh, a woman walking up with a bag of ice toward the, the bar. So she stops her and says, hey, is there something going on in here? Uh, she, and she's kind of hesitant. And then another man comes up who we eventually identify as Theo Childress, who I believe is one of the owners. Is, is, that's true. So she says, uh, what's going on here? And they say there's a private party. Uh, she asks if they have a license and they say, no, they're in the process of getting it. And she asks for his name and he refuses to give it to her. Uh, so she's not obligated to, it's a private party, it's none of her business. She says, well, the lights are on. It looks like the bar is open. I'm an officer, you know, I'm supposed to be checking this. So I, and, and then somebody turns the lights off and he's like, the lights aren't on. And she's like, the lights were just turned off. I'm not stupid. Uh, so there's this back and forth. She asks him several times to identify himself. Finally, he does, but tells her, well, I'm, I'm not obligated to do that, but I'll give you my name. Um, and, and she's a little frustrated. Um, she, and then uh, toward the very end, um, what's her name? Uh, Erica Torson comes out and, and says, yeah, it's just a private party. It's uh, I think it's a birthday party for the, the woman, the husband of the woman who's carrying the ice. Um, and she lets them go. And, and the only issue, one of our neighborhood beat officers finds out that they don't have occupancy uh, later on. Uh, it's not something we confronted them about that night, uh, but found out later. But so the occupancy is is a concern for us. It seems like after the fact that it's not a liquor violation, as Chuck points out, because they don't have their license. But obviously, we're very concerned about the complete lack of cooperation uh, that they showed to the officer who was just trying to do a bar check, and it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, I, I completely understand what you're saying as far as co cooperation. But do you feel that that was specifically Erica, or that was the business owner or the the building owner? But it, it was Th Theo Childress was the one who was uh, not cooperating at all. Okay, Theo so not Erica. Agent. He's the agent. Theo is the agent. The agent of the licensed. Yes. Right. He's the one who is the agent. He's the president of the company that holds the license. She is less involved than he is. Mm. I'm a little concerned that they wouldn't cooperate with the police officer. Um, so I think I'd like them to come come before us again and explain that. I agree. I agree and as then, well. Yeah. I mean, yes. Can I get a little understanding of the occupancy license? Like, how does that, what were the steps that were missed to not have that? Or is it just wasn't filed? Sorry if I'm asking an obvious question. I just I don't know if they had 
inspections yet, but to get an occupancy permit for a commercial building, you have to go to a building inspection, have some new inspections. There's a whole list of things that you have to make sure are ready to go. Um, what I don't know is whether they had ever, and I don't know, Meredith, if you know this, because um, we did talk about this a little bit, um, you have to go to building inspection. I don't know if they've even applied yet for it or whether the inspections had happened and um, there were things they had to work on. I, I don't know the answer to that. I spoke to building inspection yesterday. They had not yet applied. So they initially they have to turn in $250 the application and schedule an initial inspection with building inspection. They would go through, give them a list of violations a certain amount of time to correct it, which is usually 30 days. And then they would go in for a re-inspection in order to get occupancy to make sure the violations were corrected, which they haven't done any of yet, as far as I know. And I feel like, I don't remember the date that we met with them, but I thought that she implied they would be open soon and that they had everything else together. I feel like that was one of the reasons we went in that direction because we, they would be opening soon. So I agree we should speak with them again, but it is concerning to me because there were three businesses at the table, all, in my opinion, strong, viable businesses mm -hmm. that are going to contribute to Sheboygan. And we went with her based off of she made it sound like she had all her ducks in a row and they're just waiting on a liquor license and they'll be open in a couple months. And now I'm hearing they haven't even applied for a building inspection. Plus you have people in a building that hasn't been inspected. You know, is it up to code? Is it safe? There's just a lot of red flags for me, and it's just really disappointing because there's two other businesses, one open and one trying to open, that now don't have that liquor license. So I would like to hear from them, but I definitely would like to hold the license. I do not want to grant them a license. I, I concur. I think that they should, you know, at least come in for us, explain themselves as to why why they, right. they acted in this manner. Um, it's, it's really disappointing, I think, that they that they really you know, they kind of bump their nose as the right, officer. I mean, I, mean I, I think it could it, it would have been a whole different thing. I mean, first of all, the, the violation is one thing, but then to the, the actions against the officer, that really concerns me. That really does. I mean, I, I you know, I, I, I think they got caught themselves, but they, they knew they were in the wrong, and they, they, they got kind of compounded it by and trying to hide it. Yep. Instead of just coming clean and saying, yeah, we're here. You know. Having a birthday party or whatever. Yes. Just say what it is and not put yeah. people in authority positions that are just asking questions because they want to make sure people are safe. Yeah. So, so I guess I'm looking for a motion to ask them to come in. So we're going to hold the license yeah. and not grant it. And we'd like them to come in and talk about it. And then we'll consider it then. Is that how it is, Chuck? Yeah, I'll second to hold the license and ask them to come in. Yep. Okay. So I'll make the motion to hold the license and ask the agent and owner to attend the next meeting to explain themselves. Yes. Second. Did you have in there that we're holding the license? Mm -hmm. Yes. And, yeah. 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 Okay. Second. We had a motion and a second and another second. So all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Your votes aye. That motion can be approved. So we will be holding that until they come in. So now, I number eight. Okay, so the next item on the agenda is RO number 124 That was that. Oh, that was that. that was Okay, sorry you guys, I'm scattered today. Sorry. So our next meeting date will be is March 2nd, 2022. I am looking for a motion to adjourn so I can stop running a bad meeting. Barb, come back. <laughs> oh, Barb, March Barb will be back the next one. Uh, I can guarantee it. Wait, wait, wait. It's March 3rd. Our next meeting is March 3rd. That is not March 2nd. 2nd. I mean, there was a boo boo on the oh. agenda, so it's actually ah. the 2nd. Oh, okay. okay. So that's yeah. why I said the wrong date. I should have said that. <laughs> Let's just kind of try to cover that up. The, <laughs> yeah, so it is March 2nd. It's on my paper here. So I'm looking for a motion to adjourn, please. Motion I'll make the motion. Second. All right. Okay. All right. So <laughs> motion for seconds. Okay. All those in favor, please signify by stating aye. 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 Opposed? All right. We are in chair votes aye. So we are adjourned. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.